Welcome back to day 28 of the Proverbs Challenge. The other things I'm doing right now um, in my quest towards Christ is I don't even know where my stuff is. This is a really old devotional and it's so deep. It's called My Utmost First Highest. I'm also reading Quiet Times with God devotional from Joyce Meyer. Uh, get yourself a devotional. They really help you in your you know, yeah, like I said, quest to Christ, because like they change you. Oh, the other thing I'm reading right now is <clears throat> The Richest Man Who Ever Lived. And this is actually by Stephen K. Scott. And he was told by Gary Smalley, who became like a really big uh, marriage uh, person, to um, read the Proverbs every day and he'd probably become a millionaire. This guy read the Proverbs every single day. He became a millionaire. He was making a million dollars a month because he said he looked in the Proverbs, it said, he said he found that it was uh, find a business partner. And someone else told me business partners don't really work out. But anyways, he found a business partner and it did work out for him because um, he started an advertising campaign marketing firm, a million dollars a month because he uh, used the principles of the Bible and so, and of Solomon. So that is, uh, that is what, <laughs> that is your potential everybody. So get into the Proverbs and let's get going with Day 28. Here we go. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. A poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain, which leaves no food. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Better is the poor that walks in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoso keeps the law is a wise son, but he that is a companion of riotous men shames his father. He that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causes the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. The rich man is wise in his own conceit, but the poor that has understanding searches him out. When righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy." Happy is the man that fears always, but he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. As a roaring lion and a ranging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. The prince that wants understanding is also a great oppressor, but he that hates covetousness shall prolong his days. A man that does violence to the blood of any person shall flee to the pit, let no man stay or support him. Whoso walks uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. He that tills his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that follows after vain persons shall have poverty enough. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent. To have respect of persons is not good, for for a piece of bread that man will transgress. He that hastens to be rich has an evil eye and considers not that poverty shall come upon him. He that rebukes a man afterwards shall find more favor than he that flatters with the tongue. Whoso robs his father or his mother and says, it is no transgression, the same as the companion of a destroyer. He that is of a proud heart stirs up strife, but he that puts his trust in the Lord shall be made fat or prosperous. He that trusts, <laughs> I hear Christmas music turning on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that happens in the middle of uh, doing your videos. Middle or rock. Okay, he that trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walks wisely, he shall be delivered. He that gives to the poor shall not lack, but he that hides his eyes shall have many a curse. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. So it's such an amazing chapter, and I think you can probably see by now why I love the Proverbs so much. And there's just so much applicable stuff. I love this. It says, happy is the man that fears always, but he that hardens his heart shall fall into mischief. 
or who is respectful always. And so that is really what leads to joy in our life is when we care about God's opinion more than anybody else. Uh, and when we know that we're living to please him versus please people that don't honor him, you're going to have a different life than the people around you. And I really, I'm, I'm going through the Bible. I'm listening through it when I curl my hair or whatever. Um, actually I was doing the dishes the other day and I was just listening through like day after day of my Bible plan, my year long. And it's just like feeding my soul. I'm just like, this is food. And like on church, on church, on Sunday at church, my pastor was just like saying like exactly stuff that was already on my mind, like from my devotional time with the Lord. And when you start syncing up with God and you get a great church to go to and a spirit filled, spirit led pastor, your life is going to change. I'm enthralled with God's kingdom. And I understand that maybe not everybody understands that or can, is on that same page with me, but uh, it's exciting. Like actually someone from Scotland just messaged Haley and I, um, no, actually it's old email, and they liked our um, Trump song and they called us, but I, I missed their call. So um, they said my whole family was around uh, listening, uh, you know, waiting to talk to you guys and I, I didn't even get the call and I couldn't call back when I got the message because um, I don't have international calling. So I was like, oh, so sad that I found a message from them and an email like a year later and I messaged him back and he said, I figured if you and Haley were that passionate about the Bible, I could be too. And I thought that is so amazing because like when you tap into God, you inspire others to want to tap into God. And the more that you get into it, like I was talking to someone the other day and I was like saying the Bible now seems small to me. You know, and I'm just going through it. If you do five chapters a day, it really does uh, do so much for you. And I've, now I'm going to Revelation. When you get into the Word of God, it starts to feed your soul. It starts to feed your mind. It starts to feed your body. Literally, like the Bible, Jesus said, my meat is to do the will of the Father. You know, I have food you know not of. And I'm just starting to feel like the Word of God and the revelation from God is like food, literally to my body. It's like food to your spirit. And we need to be continually going towards Christ because... Otherwise, the devil is always out there chomping away um, at your forward progress. And it, it, like they say, if you're not going forward, you're going backwards. And so like if you don't go forward in your health, you're going to be going backwards in your health. You're not going to get stronger by sitting still. You know, your 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 muscles are going to uh, weaken. What is it called? Atrophy. Uh, I forget what they call it, but anyways, your muscles are going to weaken and you need to be strengthening it. And there is this sin nature that is always trying to pull at us um, as humans. And we, we, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. And if we're not continually in the word around other believers, um, you know, around spirit filled leaders that are really pressing into Christ and really pressing into the gifts. Anyhow, my phone just ran out of space and I had to delete some videos to finish this video out. That happens to me way too much. But uh, please like this video and subscribe if you like to see more of this. Uh, it helps push it out to more people. And come back soon for day 29 of the 31 day Proverbs challenge. God bless you. My name is Camille. Find me on Instagram or anywhere else. And bye-bye. See you soon.